Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. In this video, I want to address a question that I've gotten from time to time over the past few years. Uh, specifically, uh, Alex B. wrote in about a year ago about this. Uh, I know it must have been about a year ago because I took some notes for a video about it on uh, stationery from somewhere I was about a year ago. Um, but I've been asked about it enough it makes sense to talk about it in a video. And that's how I manage my time and get things done. You know, I'm a, a self-employed internet weirdo, right? I My main source of income is Patreon, uh, combined with my annual royalty check for my books from Hackett, and uh, some other things here and there, some public speaking, some consulting on movies or video games, occasionally some other random thing. I guess now a little bit of cameo. A uh, little bit from ads, not very much. Um, all of these things kind of add up to, um, yeah, I don't know if it's a career, but a job profile of, of side hustles, <laughs> right? Um, or or I, I take a lot of things that would be side hustles for other people and I, I turn them into my full-time work. Um, so how do I get things done without a boss, you know, living alone? Um, what's, the, what's the secret? Well, I'm not a superhero of productivity, but I do manage to get things done in spite of uh, struggling with uh, depression or something like it. So here's how I do all that. <laughs> Very cool red-tailed hawk flying almost about to be right over me. Might come into frame in this video, that would be cool. Hey, if you enjoy these free videos, there's a few easy ways you can support this channel. One, support my Patreon, where you also get Zoom interviews with experts about all kinds of cool, obscure subjects, as well as Zoom office hours with me every month, in which I try to address your Old Norse questions and similar things. Buy my uh, translations from Hackett. You can get copies that are already signed from Boulder Bookstore. You can also request specially signed books there, although it can take a while for me to get to that. Uh, I'm on Cameo, if you want to send somebody a personalized all the best. And I even have some weird merch on uh, Spreadshop connected to my YouTube. So what I use is a written weekly planner. I am just old enough that I can't really um, do my daily planning stuff on a computer or a phone. Um, it annoys me to write with my thumbs or something and I don't always have a computer with me. So I carry around with me, usually in my briefcase, sometimes in a backpack like right now, a traveler's notebook. It's actually from Traveler's Company Japan and I am not shilling for them. They do not know I exist. I uh, picked this up first in 2020, but I've been using some different planner notebooks since 2015 to do more or less the same thing. The specific planner that I use, you would look for the one called uh, Refill or Free Diary Weekly Vertical. I don't know. I found these at, at Miningers in Denver. I know there's also some online uh, places where you can get them too. So what you get is each week, uh, I'll show you a blank one, it's something like this. So uh, the day starts at 7 a.m. and it goes to 11 p.m. It's a fairly realistic um, schedule, I guess, for most people to be awake. And you can just fill in either what you want to do or what you have done. For me, it's kind of a combination of the two. So for example, if I have an appointment or I have something scheduled, I'm gonna write it down there in advance. But the main thing that I use it for is actually to record what I did the last half hour. It's not a diary, but it's a, uh, an, a productivity accountability partner, maybe. 
I think it's a little more encouraging to write down what you have done than what you will do because you can easily say, oh, well, I'm gonna work on this project for four hours, then I'm gonna work on that project for four hours, and then never actually do it. I think it's a little bit better if you write down, you know, I did work on this thing, even if it was just for half an hour. And um, then you can kind of get on streaks that I think are encouraging and help you be more productive because you say, well, you know, yesterday I worked on this, today I ought to do it too. And eventually you can kind of find yourself in a streak or a record where you say, oh, well, I've worked on this every day for a month. I can't miss this next day. That kind of thing helps me. Um, it's also, for what it's worth, um, now that I seem to be, um, you know, getting more confessional on YouTube or whatever, my apologies to people who resent that. Um, it is a way that I've dealt with alcoholism too, right? I mean, some of the worst days of my life have been this year and I have not drunk sometimes just because it's like I have seven and a half years sober. I'm not going to ruin that streak now. So I'm a big believer in streaks. I'm a big believer in encouraging yourself just by doing things, having done them. Um, you know, I keep putting up a poem a day on the Olaf Hohauga Facebook page just because I've been doing it since 2012. And it's like, well, why stop now? It's just something I've been doing forever. Um... Let me give you a quick word from my friends partners at Grim Frost. I'll come back and tell you about how I decide actually what to work on. So how do I decide what I'm going to work on? I use a cyclical system, and I started doing this in 2015. I think this is better than just a um, flat, if you will, to-do list. You know, do this, then do that, do, then do that. I used to use a system like that, I did for many years, but I often found myself neglecting really urgent tasks to do the next thing on the to-do list which is maybe not as urgent as something else that I needed to do. So I actually cycle through tasks of discrete types that um, are more or less urgent, but all need to be done. Now, the specifics of this are gonna vary a lot depending on what you need to do, right? I mean, your career, no matter what it is, is different from mine. Hopefully it makes you more money. and. Um, you know, you'll have to experiment a lot to figure out exactly what tasks really, really work for you. But I'll tell you what works for me. So, first thing is in any given day, uh, I make sure that uh, I eat breakfast. <laughs> so that's usually one of those half-hour things. I go crazy if I don't eat breakfast. Uh, and uh, I also make sure that I always spend a half-hour making sure that my uh, accounts are all in, li in line, right? No one's stolen a credit card or something. I know what all my expenses have been. I'm up on all my bills, that kind of stuff. And then if that doesn't fill a whole half hour, uh, I'll start working on uh, the next thing, which is um, the, the money test. So I categorize my tasks by letters in the Younger Futhark Runic Alphabet. It's nerdy, I guess, but it's easy for me to remember. And when I first set the system up, there was kind of more of a relation between the letters or the names of the letters and what I was doing. It's not that close of a relationship anymore. But FE, the F letter, which means money, that is the, the, the first task in my cycle. So it's just whatever the next thing that I need to do that will make me money. I need to spend half an hour on it. So that's gonna vary a lot. And this really helps me stay up with things that are urgent or pressing. So very often this will be a video. I need to get up in time for the next update, Wednesday or Friday. Um, I may really need to start updating more. I don't know, maybe that'll help this channel. Um, whatever, usually a video is the, the urgent next thing. Sometimes it's something to you know, with a book deadline. Sometimes it's a talk that's coming up. But whatever it is, it allows me to be adaptable to the urgency, 
urgency of whatever my current situation is. Next thing is uh, the U task, who, or uh, this is where I edit videos that I've already made. If I don't have a video already edited, then the U task turns into the next task, the Thorn task, which is prepare videos or film videos. So right now, as I'm doing this, I'm on Thorn, right? I'm recording a video that later I will cycle back to the U, which is uh, editing the video. After the Thorn task, my fourth task in my cycle is uh, a task that is writing. So I need to work on something, uh, whatever my, my next book project is for Hackett or something else related to that. You know, it can be communicating with Hackett or signing books, something like that. Any of that stuff can go under, under A, as long as it has something to do with my books. Next thing is the R task. This is email. For me, um, I, I'll spend a half hour on email, which is usually 9 or 10 uh, significant. 9 or 10 emails that require a reply. Um, if it takes longer than a half hour, I'm going to drag it out to make sure that I do get 9 or 10 replies out, just to make sure that my inbox doesn't get totally flooded. And because I dread answering email, I use a random number generator to decide which emails to answer in which order. I don't do it in um, oldest to newest or newest to oldest. I do it in a random order, which means that I don't know which one to dread answering, if you see what I'm saying. Next thing is the K task. This is maintenance. This can be um, cleaning. This can be um, taking care of my truck or something like that. This can be I just need to go to the grocery store um, or I need to clip my nails or something, right? It's like just the little things that keep life clean, and organized, and functioning. I need to make sure that I'm spending a half hour in my cycle working on that stuff. And by the way, these can all be longer than a half hour. I'm going to get back to this in a moment after I go through my personal cycle. Uh, then there's the H task, that's health. So, you know, go to the gym, hike, you know, get some sun, whatever. You know, it's, it's kind of my exercise task. Um, then there's... Uh, my newest task, this one I've only been doing for a couple months, but I think that it's a good addition to my rotation, and that is the end task, and that is my relationship task. Okay, so that's my eight tasks. That would add up to four hours of work. That's not really a full work day, but I don't require that it be just half an hour. Half an hour is kind of the minimum. What I really want is I want to complete some discrete task I want to finish editing a video during you, so that might take, you know, an hour and a half. I want to finish recording a video in, in Thorn or, or writing notes for a video. Maybe that takes an hour. Maybe I really get into the flow of writing, and so the A task takes two hours, right? Something like that. These don't have to take just that amount of time. It's just that I'm moving each one of these, ideally, ahead each day, right? You know, if you think of it as a chessboard and each one is is a chess piece, each one is getting moved each day, ideally. Now, if uh, I don't finish the whole cycle in a, in a day, I do start the next day at the next spot of my cycle. And one thing that's really good about this is if I get off task or, um, you know, I have to travel, which is always kind of a pain, um, you know, and I just get off of the cycle, well, what I do is I go back to my notebook and I check, well, what's the last thing I did? Okay, work on the next thing in my cycle. It helps me because I don't have to worry or think about, well, what do I need to work on? I just keep myself going on the cycle, and um, it keeps me busy and uh, mostly out of trouble. doesn't mean that I don't sometimes get real sad or something, but at least I don't get super bored working on something for an entire day because if some task is really boring me, I know I'm going to cycle through it, but I know that some other task awaits me after it. I'm not just stuck on one boring thing I have to do. Uh, something like this has worked for me since about 2015. The current system um, with the runic lettering indicating what task is what started in 2019. And I guess I get things done. I mean, you be the judge. But um, if that kind of cycling through task and keeping track of what you've done rather than what you 
kind of intend to do, or maybe don't really intend to do, if you think that'll help you, give it a shot. Um, I do recommend the Traveler's Company notebooks, but you can find all kinds of planners that'll work just as well, I'm sure, for you. I just kind of like the aesthetic of it. For now, uh, thank you to Patreon and to those who buy my books. And from Pikes Peak Country in beautiful Colorado, I'm wishing you all the best. <laughs>